pass him back. For he is a very good fellow, for he is a very good fellow, for he is a very good fellow. Soprano. For he is a very good fellow, for he is a very good fellow, for he is a very good fellow. Soromchia. Okay, ma. Can I pass over? Where they say they go? Where they say he go? Them go, he go. Where they say he go? UK. For two weeks, walking leaves and leave. Walking leave. Abby. Say that leaves. <laughs> two weeks walking leave. Okay. Is it now in the UK? No. He don't move to France. What is the connection between Tinubu, France, and the UK? At the time that this country is suffering, there's a problem on ground. Oga, you enter play. You, you. you say you they go leave. Have you ever seen a company that is having crisis and the CEO say, that time of the crisis, and the CEO stand up and say, I won't go leave. I, I won't go leave. Oh, no, I don't ever see that before. That is the condition we are in now. Nigeria is that company that is in crisis and the CEO, Tinobu, is on leave. He not even go to one place from the UK. He's just gallivanting. He don't move to France. Why do you know they go in the US? Okay, not true. He get drug case for that. <laughs> what a jolly good fellow. Now why I sing that song? So that I'm not going to say me. Where are they come from? You don't know, be like saying I'm talking more. Because I'm going to say, hey, 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 he don't carry fake news. Hey, he don't carry fake news. I'm going to make a sense of TikTok on top national TV. Watch. A presidential spokesperson, Bayon Onuga, has replied Nigerians who have criticized President Tinubu for traveling to the United Kingdom and now to France for his annual leave. On Friday, October 12th, the senior special assistant to the president on political and other matters, Ibrahim Masari, revealed that President Tinubu left the United Kingdom where he had gone for a two-week vacation for France, the president was heavily criticized for traveling outside the shores of Nigeria to spend his leave. Ononuga wrote in a post on X, well, President Tinubu is on leave for two weeks. He's not restricted to the United Kingdom. It is his private time. He can go to anywhere he so desires. He's still observing his leave. Well, he is still observing his leave at the moment. I mean, I'd love to take a reaction. Uh, if you can pull up that reaction. So this is from Evelyn who wrote, well, I don't think it's good to be on a leave when many of his countrymen are starving. This is the time to roll up the sleeves, not a time for leave. I would understand if it was a medical trip, but even at that, we have good hospitals here that can attend to our presidents. It is not good for our image that every time our president needs medical or other attention, he runs to Europe. I think that is the rhetoric online, Rufai. A lot of people have said that. And even here in the studio, we have talked about the fact that, I mean, even if it is medical leave, can we have him treat himself in Nigeria? But it's not medical leave. He's on leave while, you know, pump price. <laughs> well, collectively, yeah? Yes. We lack a sense of shame. That's what happens. Yes. Sabayo Onuga is responding by saying that the president can go to France on taxpayers' money. That's the question. Hobnobbing from London to France on holiday on taxpayers' money when the country needs his attention here. And he says, oh, he can do whatever he likes. He can rule from anywhere. The question is, we compare ourselves with foreign nations a lot. How many leaders do you see? Which day did you hear Joe Biden? because we like to compare ourselves with America a lot, leave America to go and do holiday in Nigeria. So we indulge these things mm -hmm. on taxpayers' money. We continue, and the president says, there's no biggie about it. Mm -hmm. And the next thing they say is that we should pray for the country. In fact, have we not prayed more than enough? We're saying action. It is about working and praying. I mean, and it has shown beyond reasonable doubt that these people don't rate Nigerians. 
You don't respect us at all, and all of that. You, 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 you hear them, and you see them. Eh. You don't move. They would even pay me like this by your honor, I don't talk I'm countless number of them. No could collect this guy's phone. Move find a way he did thief in phone. Move, move just thief thief. Make this guy know the make you know the tweet. Make you know the talk. And the agenda is mobilize. Find a way he did. Nobody could touch him. Just thief in phone. Move ban him. Say me nobody cell phone give him a game for this country. Even collect a laptop join. Any two go make a this social media, me will thief him. <laughs> because this guy the mission. When I hear what him talk for that video. So the president is on a leave now private. Now, private time where you can get for yourself, now you be that. So, nobody should tell him what to do with his private time or where to go or where to travel to with his private time. Okay, now in private leave. The money where you use, they go now in private money. Oh, you go here. Taxpayers' money. Go there, my private leave. Mm -hmm. To crew for Ebena, stay one place, say no. I don't need to tell you now. If the budget was 100 million dollars, not Naira. In UK. Now we don't move from UK, go France. Multiply and by two. Two hundred million dollars. So they don't add up now, they don't pad up to the initial amount of the one spent. Say eh, it they on leave. Country where they born. Nah. Oh, there is something these people are hiding from us. Do you know where? Well, I mm -mm, the guy know where. No, you know where. How can you people tell me that somebody they well, somebody that is mentally sound? Go they behave like this? No! Only are they well, it's not mentally okay. How can you? Country they born. Hunger day. Fuel price they skyrocket. And you, I don't forget to, now this man, I'm the minister of petroleum. Yes, what to have is minister of state. Where they give Lobe Henneke. The main minister of petroleum. Now him, fuel they skyrocket. People are suffering. Hunger everywhere. Give it to in Aga leave. You went on the leave. You want to Kuruno Fuebe. Stay one place and still be putting your heads together to know how you work for this country where you come back. Because they say when you come back, you, you'll be refreshed. Your brain now, nah, all the waves go to the work so that you go know how to move this country forward. But you have refused to stay one place. How you want to take the rest where you go now, you don't want to rest again. You don't go Levant you don't enter France. Your favorite wine where you did drink. Now France, you you know other American can come for you for you can. You see? What a jolly good fella. <laughs> and we really enter one chance for this one. The annoying part be say, with all this will it happen, I will talk. Go, 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 go. Only again when you catch 2027. Yes. He go still win 2027. With all the noise that everybody shouting and crying. People, even uh, journalists are living live TV uh, program. Crying out of live TV program. Yes. Everybody they cry and they shout. I'll give me quite like. I go see on a later beg. For over a decade, this has been the birthplace of innovation. Innocent Vehicles is a testament to resilience, employing international best practices to create more than just a car. Every vehicle here tells a story of durability, fuel economy and safety. Crafted with the African spirit, the Nigerian heart. These vehicles surrounding me embody the unique concept of regionalization, each one designed to cater to the tastes and preferences of our people. From the streets in Nigeria to the terrains of the Sahara, these vehicles are designed for our roads, for our people. This is more than a vehicle. It's a symbol of our progress, our resilience, our collective success story. Your feedback drives us to continuously innovate and improve. Innocent Vehicle, the pride of African roads.